Justin Jameson, Cleveland, Ohio, and Ford. Talk about um, where you grew up and how you got into playing basketball. Well, it's an interesting story, actually. You know, I grew up in Cleveland, and uh, I actually played baseball since I was five years old, and I got drafted out of high school. And I did that, and then I tore my shoulder. So I played basketball for a little bit while I was growing up, but I really didn't start getting like, good at basketball until my sophomore year of high school. So while I was playing baseball, you know, I took all that time off from basketball, and then as soon as I got hurt, I decided that I was going to go back to school. And uh, you know, I just worked, got a scholarship offer, and went back. To, I, I was at a Division One school, and then I transferred to a JUCO so I could get my grades up and work to get a scholarship at, at a D1 school. So what's the difference between, you know, you're playing, you got drafted, you're playing baseball, and now you're back in school and you're playing, you know, basketball under Coach Tubby Smith. Can you yeah. talk about that difference? Well, it's honestly, it's like two different worlds, you know, playing pro baseball, you're getting paid to play a sport, you're out there grinding 12 hours a day and on little hot buses with a bunch of guys from different countries, you can't understand anybody, so. Here it's a little bit different, you know, it's still grinding and everything, but you're grinding for different reasons, you're grinding for different things. In the minors, everyone's got kind of an individual goal because everybody wants to move up, you know. Here we're all working towards the same goal, but we're also working towards our futures. Coming here, how have the guys been welcoming you in? What are some, what's some of the advice that they're giving you? Being one of the oldest guys on the team, I feel like I'm, I gotta kind of have to set the, set the example and set the precedence, you know. I'm kind of a guy that's more to myself than anything, just being in the baseball background and everything, you know, I, I kind of stay to myself a little more off the court and then on the court we just work together, we try and work together as much as possible just to do everything that the coaches need us to do and, you know, keep working towards our one our one goal, but um, I guess some of the advice that everybody's giving me is just, you know, take it one day at a time and, you know, just keep working hard, keep doing what the coaches need you to do, you know, the time's going to go quick, it's a marathon, so just keep taking it one day at a time and then don't get down on yourself. What would you say are some of the biggest strengths that this team has? Athleticism. Uh, I don't think Tech has seen athleticism in the basketball program like this in a long time. So I think it's going to be a different style game, a different pace of game that people are used to seeing out here. But I think it's going to be make for an exciting basketball season. I think people are going to really like it. Can you talk about what it's meant to you so far um, to be a student athlete at Texas Tech? Uh, you know, being a student athlete anywhere is a blessing, you know, getting your school paid for, being able to get an education, you know, it's a, it costs a lot to be, be able to, I had to do it my first year, I had to pay, for, pay my way to go to my first school and that's why I ended up transferring because, you know, it's no joke that it, it costs a lot so people can't take advantage of it and take, can't take it for granted, it's a really great opportunity and, you know, you just got to keep, keep focused.